So I'm not sure exactly where the max are, but uh, I mean, hey, it looks like it might be this way. Although now we have to be scared, because the last time we did a major targets, we got our ass handed to us. Target. Anybody else I want to hit? Nah, damn it, I almost got him. Okay. We got a spooky dude coming up to us. I can keep using launch on him. Alright, we need health elements. Holy shit. Let's be a little bit more aggressive. Holy shit, we just got a ton of stuff. What? Hello? Hi? Uh, I already killed the major target, so if you could just be, like, could you just fuck off? Anyways, uh... Let's see, we got an Entropic Echo. And then the Intrusive Power, an Astral Blip, a ton of stuff. And some Hidden Trends. Man! Unfortunately, we only killed two Rangers. Oh no! Some of those guards we could have been killing with the spin! Oops. I didn't. I forgot I had that mission too. Well, uh, I guess we'll just head back now. I think these major missions are the only way we're gonna encounter enemies sometimes. I'm not fully sure though. Willow AWE outcome. National news sites have begun publishing the story of the polar bear attack on the Alaskan town. You all know I don't like to boast, but claiming that the family was killed by migrating polar bears desperate for food because their ecosystem is being ruined by global warming was a stroke of genius. Using current ecological concerns makes the public much less likely to blank. Whoop. So another, so another AWE behind us and the public is none the wiser. Well done, everybody. It was a strong campaign and perfectly executed. This doesn't mean we can stop monitoring blank and blank for any off-message opinions, but it's looking like we're in the clear. Tomasi out. <laughs> Jeez. I want to see if there's uh, anything I can access over here by a clearance level. Although I might just save it until we have like clearance level five. Clearance level five might be the highest clearance level of them all, but I'm not sure. How am I gonna get over there one day? Probably shield. And that's 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 my full expectation. We get the shield ability and we can traverse through danger or more dangerous areas. Danger, Jesus. Okay. Well, let's head back to research. Where we're probably about to enter the astral plane and find out what an astral spike is. Enter the projector or something? <laughs> nope. <coughs> oh, man, you're right. The staircase over here. Ooh. I can't believe they keep that thing here. Ooh. Hey! We've seen that before! We couldn't kill that. Yikes. I don't know how I'm going to deal with it. I might not be able to. Oh, 
I gotta fix the power in this place. Maybe I can lead it back and lock the door on it. Oh, jeez. Power on! Oh, I have to lead it into here first. Son of a bitch. Containment! Containment protocols! So, that's a problem. Ah. Close the door! That wasn't too bad. What was the Bureau doing with that thing? Uh, research, Jesse. Come on now. I get out of here now? Oh, nice! Someone answer, damn it! We need backup down here! Hello, this is the new director! Marshall, are you still there? Shit. Damn it. We're so close. We need to hurry. Whoa. Hiss clusters heal other enemies. Destroy them to make the fight easier. You've got it. Good boy! I'll just break you with objects. Do I have any mission here? Kill mold hosts in the research sector. Oh, mold hosts. That's different than I thought. I thought I was just killing normal enemies in the sector. Right, okay. Well, that's a problem. Uh. Spin is not equipped for long-range combat. That's not... That's not the rocket. I need health. Oh! Hey there! Well, he's fucking dead. I'm gonna punch you! I punched him out of his chair! Okay, I didn't really punch him out of his chair, but I did punch him. Punch! <laughs> Sometimes you have to take advantage of the fact that, uh, when you pull an item through an enemy, they're gonna get hurt too. Oh, shit. Meet the tank! Meet the heavy! The big dude with a vendetta. Alright, at least this time around we've got a lot of big objects to use on him. We just have to actually bring him down here to fight. Oh shit! Alright, well, I mean, you know, grenades, fine. Honestly, grenades are a little bit easier to deal with than, uh, hit scan machine guns shots. You know what? I can dodge projectiles. Or I can toss them back at him. Got him! His cluster. His clusters are unique in that they are concentrated manifestations of his resonance without the need of a host. His clusters are dense, spherical compressions of his resonance that serve support functions in the hierarchy of his entities. The clusters are capable of replenishing his hosts with infusions of resonance. 
This does not heal any physical damage inflicted on the host, but rather seems to rejuvenate them, allowing them to endure more bodily harm than normally possible. The fact that the Hiss makes an effort to preserve its corrupted hosts underlines a level of awareness and discretion that was previously just speculation on my part. Can this entity be considered an individual or simply an extension of the Hiss as a whole? Capturing one alive would be quite interesting. Uh, Emily, no. I have a huge preference to, uh, to not capture anything alive right now. It's just gonna be a big pain in the ass, really. This is a lot of documents. A captive audience. Investigate the X-ray light box object of power. Ooh, I like the sound of that. That wasn't exactly what I was trying to find in terms of the research. But I'll just look through the list. Case files. Hotline. Oh, actually, I, I didn't read this before. Object is a 1960s era red bake light telephone. The rotary dial has been replaced by a black knob of unknown purpose. The phone weighs blank. The object allows the director to communicate with the blank. If used by anyone other than the director, the object will cause lethal blank. Oh. The object spontaneously manifested in the director's office, placed on the desk. Director Northmore was the first known bureau agent to use it. It just showed up? Huh. What did I find here? Astronaut's information. Here we go. Astronaut program. This report serves as an introductory guide to the astronaut program, including candidate requirements, training practices, and asteroid research procedures. Astronauts are chosen individuals who explore and document the astral plane by making physical contact with the X-ray light box. See case file OOP 8, uh, 18 for details. In the hypnosis lab, a section of the parapsychology division, physical and psychological training is vital, vital for the repeated transition between planes, known as dives. After each dive, astronauts must undergo a blank, uh, blank session in the cognitive re recording chairs to record their experience in the plane. Gathered data has conclusively proven that blank within the astral plane vary widely between astronauts. On rare occasions, these dives can result in losses, often recurring when teams encounter aggressive astral entities. Yeah, we've encountered a few of them ourselves. What about this? Groupthink. This study extends the works of Irving Janis, Robert Barron, and others by proposing strong casual links between groupthink and the passive or active use of telepathy. To prove these connections, the parapsychology department carried out variations of Solomon uh, Ask's or Osh's original conformity experiments using a telepathic individual as the subject. See experiments in blank for details. Extensive quali uh, qualitative and quantitative data resulting from these experiments was then used to identify telepathic interference within the group. Further empirical findings suggest measures can be taken to safeguard against telepathic interference on behaviors by engaging in blank. Rather boldly, this paper stands to revolutionize decades of groupthink theory and provide new directions for further experimentation on the mind, including manipulation of blank and blank. Hmm. <coughs> oh, hey, look, this is a big cutout of a brain. I was hoping groupthink would be something cooler like, hey, combine your consciousnesses together, guys, for one big hive mind. If anyone is listening, we've encountered heavy resistance. Nope, whoops, didn't mean to pause Now I'll see what I can do, but, uh, ah, damn. Now I have the house memory for the for the upgrade to grip. But I don't have everything I don't have everything else. I'm gonna have to decide here. Cause I could upgrade grip again. Or rather upgrade grip for the first time. Or I could construct pierce, which sounds cool. Charge shot that penetrates armors and enemies at any range. That's a sniper, man. That's just a straight sniper. I want a sniper. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna abandon Hiss guards in the executive sector using spin. Because that's not happening anytime soon. Kill enemies using launch. I mean, look at this, that's much better. Kill Hiss troopers. Man, these are all, I, I like these more generic ones. The ones that involve locations, that would only be useful if enemies respawned in a reliable way, but we don't know how to do that if there is a possible way to do it yet. Marshall, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Who is this? My name is Jesse Faden. I'm coming to help. Faden? Hold on, I'm sending the elevator for you. We need to talk. You got that right. 
Yeah, we need to talk to you about Dylan. Enemies, enemies. So the good news is that they're the, the explosive enemies that wait to explode, so that's actually really easy to handle. But uh, then there was a bunch of them on me, so, you know, finishing that statement would have just jinxed me. Investigate the X-ray light box of Object of Power. Where is that? That's in the Hypnosis Lab, which... We haven't encountered yet. Ooh, it's down here. I want that object to power. So, uh, <laughs> that's, that's my priority right now. Oh. <laughs> I see it. Another object of power. They're just standing there, mesmerized by it. Where is it? Oh, it's all the way over there. <coughs> I'm not looking forward to what's going to happen when, uh, when I retrieve it. Stop. Continue. Huh? What am I doing? Is this unlocking it? I'm not actually sure what I'm doing over here on the left side here. I guess I'm trying to, like, assemble a whole box? I mean... That's as much as I, I grasp of it for now. Let me actually look at the control into over here itself. Can I shoot them? <laughs> These are clear enemies, so... You know, I'd rather not have to deal with them if they all just suddenly turn on me. So, we have to open this box up. Is there a pattern that I have to do it in? I think it's this, honestly. Huh. Interesting. Matches the symbol in the back. Kind of? Maybe I need... There we go. A little bit more on the sides. Please state your name for the record. Paul Warren, Astromark, First Boss. And you are aware that exposure to the astral plane can result in death, disability, personal injury, corporeal untangling, cognitive collapse, loss of ego, and partial to full dementia? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. And you acknowledge that your use of the astral conduit, aka the X-ray light box, is purely voluntary? Yes, I do. Perfect. Your suit is good? Yeah. Okay, you're all set. Open the door for Mr. Warren, please. Uh... Huh. So am I gonna have to get- I mean, yeah, it's an object of power, so... I'm gonna have to go to the astral plane to conquer it anyways. Use C's to complete the astral plane challenge. What is C's?
Golden copy, NPC, variation. Gold enemies are immune to Jesse's attack. Find another way to defeat this enemy. Okay. Well... Enemies at low health can be seized. Ah! Seized enemies will fight alongside Jesse. Cool! Alright! I don't- I'm not really a fan of- of mechanics like this. But, I'll take it. It's an option. And maybe I can capture big enemies. It looks like I can only have two at a time. Good work slash playing, Director. Okay, you just went whole all over the place there real fast. Not one of the abilities I was hoping to get, but I'll take it. I really want that shield ability. I really want Levitate. I think that's going to open up a lot for us. And here I go, running through this room, not getting completely annihilated by the enemies who are no longer hypnotized. Although, now that we grab that, there could be a respawn of enemies. I'm keeping an ear out. Something could happen at any time. Alright. Let me grab the last upgrade for launch here. So that way I can basically, probably instant kill most enemies instantly. And we only need one more to get a personal mod slot, so I'm just gonna upgrade my melee damage. Alright! What other mods do we want to slap on? I could get evade energy, launch energy cost could be okay. Wait, can I have multiple health boosts? Oh, shit! Ooh, that means I can Stack stuff. So say with the shatter, I could eventually upgrade it and just have a whole bunch of damage stacks. Hmm. Well, in terms of things I care about right now, evade energy cost. Honestly, I don't really care too much about that. Same with the launch energy cost. I'd much rather like just have health. So I think I'm going to go for that. Just keep the 19% the health boost. 